thankful for that. So Zypen go kill. Stacking up here with the Breach, Omen, Sova, Raise, Cypher. Sova, Cypher, I think, is pretty popular on uh, this particular map. You can see it on both sides there. And Project SW opting for the Raise, Cypher, Sage, Sova, Omen. So Sage and Breach, the only difference here. No Sage on the side of Zypen Go Kill. Right, and we're going to be moving on in here. Looks like a B execute. A lot of members stacked up outside long here with two still lurking around A. So the shock arrow comes in. That's going to be Cold Dementa popping that wall right away. And that's actually a fair wall to be throwing up because you always have to worry about someone standing on it in either of the corners. So we'll deter a bit of advance for now, but still holding on to a lot of utility on the side of Zypen. And Xiao uh, hopping through the teleporter, actually, with the two of his buddies headed up through a short now. First kill, though, t -Sack falls to Angel. Yeah, Angel picking up that first frag, and here comes the blind. He's not going to be able to find the frag. Mendo struggling a little bit, but does end up picking it up in the end and throws a smoke. They should be able to get bombed down here, and Project SW, 3v5 for this retake. It's going to be a hard ask. Kagasi playing the Sova this time around has been playing Jet up to now. Uh, now going for the more utility aspect rather than the Jet rushdown that you saw on Split. And he's going to get Ooh. taken down. Shadow Lulz and Zypan both getting on the board there. And that is a pretty clean attack round. Four remaining, still standing. Lots of cash piling up. And that should give them the momentum moving into round two as well. That it is. And that felt... That felt pretty good if you are Zype and go kill. A lot of those a lot of those kills came in with exactly how abilities are supposed to be used. And this is actually something that the EU I've noticed does a lot better than NA a little bit. Or at least a lot of the better teams here will use abilities. You saw the omen flash coming in for He's not the one challenging. You're just using it to cover for your teammates. And there were so many scenarios where crossfires were being set up. You know, you have flashes coming in from other characters. That's how you need to start layering your abilities. We'll see if Zype and Go are going to keep this up as Shao's going to find three wow. on the other end of the map here. Be long getting decimated by <laughs> Shao there. Poor t -Sack. Even though he's still standing, still gets a kill. You got to <laughs> feel pretty overwhelmed when uh, your teammates drop like flies all around you. And we've seen... A bajillion triple kills today, but that one was pretty darn fast. Xiao showing them how it's done here on offense. They are going full speed into this defense of Project SW. They may need to switch up which sites these agents are playing, but uh, Sage, very, very important here. Obviously, Cypher, very important as well with the trips and traps. We'll see where they set up this time around. Omen actually playing very close with the AR is kind of interesting. I would not expect that defense on B that you see there. Right, and possibly just looking to smoke and back away, but I definitely think this is just part of if Zypingo are gonna fan out this hard, they maybe want to look for two man challenges on some closer angles to hopefully try and punish the fan spread that Zypingo have so far. But pushing in here solo, the wall's gonna come up in time, and that'll at least buy him enough space that. It's able to retreat back to site. Information known, but no rotations coming out just yet. They're holding strong on A. All right. Siphon pushing forward. Angel here trying to block off sight, but they're still standing. Siphon trades another kill. Shao goes down. Dawn goes down. Hold a Menta right means no more res or heal potential for the defenders. Uh, Kagasi is one of the more impressive shots accuracy wise here on this team. And he is trying his best here, but Siphon getting a triple kill for himself this time. Offense looking super strong. 3 0 lead. Yeah, and again, Zypen, just looking clinical is the best way to continue describing it here. But losing two, right now, Zypen Kill Killer just kind of building up their eco. I don't I don't know if Project SW is going to be able to full buy right away, but the position that they're finding themselves on 0-3, a little bit hard of an ask, especially when... You're knowing that you're going to be starting on the defense side anyway, so you do draft up this Sage alongside the Cypher. You don't go for things like the Breach. So if you're going to end up falling down, you really need to start battling it back because Sage, is, uh, Sage and Cypher, unfortunately, don't posture themselves the best on offense while Breach is getting the most amount of value he can while he's here. 
Okay, so starting off 6-0, Zypan. I can see why the team is named Zypan Go Kill now. Uh, already looking flawless. Money just stacking up now. Guns, massive advantage here. You've got full Vandals and a Phantom versus, uh, you know, seeing a Bucky on the other side is not great. So uh, the attackers here really rolling through. Project SW need area. to somehow get a handle on things here. Yeah, they'll need to do just that as... Angel almost didn't get a handle on that boom bot running him down, but with a little help from his friends was able to knock that one down. And this is just kind of probing for information. I think Kill playing these ranges and getting so much utility out of Project SW before anything is committed. It's a great way to start things along. All right, Angel looking for someone to shoot at. Really, Ray's just tucked into elbow there. Not going to be peeking, and I don't think Angel's aware that Sage is there either, uh, but does back off to rejoin his team outside of Hookah here. I think Omen and Sova are playing this very close to the attackers. I, again, I'm a little bit surprised. I think I prefer the entrenched defense when you can use elbow and that back hallway, but maybe they know something I don't. They've got a strat. I mean, they do have close range weapons here, so that obviously comes into play. Zypan still mowing down Dawn on the way into Hookah. 5v4 advantage now. Sage not really going to be able to res that over from A. Coldamenta trying to get the ambush here, but they turn. You can see those x-rays turning right at him. And Zypan, another triple. Yeah, and he's going to be likely going for more here. That's just going to be Shadow and Shao picking up those final two kills in the round. And this has just been... If, uh, when I'm watching Project SW, it almost feels like there's a bit of desperation on their side. Pushing up, you know, like you've been talking about in the hookah position, playing that close. Sure, you have close range weapons, but they were playing there even with ARs. And then they're trying to push out of hookah to get aggressive into that B mid. It feels a little bit like SW feel cornered and they're trying to lun they're trying to strike back. But that's exactly what Zypen Go Kill seem to be wanting. Yeah, now that Kagasi has the op, I would have expected him. Yeah, B-Long or A-Heaven. B-Long makes sense as well. So uh, they are stacking B a bit heavier. I think, obviously, Zyphen and Go Kill have had success there a couple of times now. So Angel, as the lone omen here on A-Short, they've been sending him solo there multiple times. I guess the smokes are enough to tie up the defenders or you know, force people through to the site if they ever choose to go A. You can see them actually going that direction now as Omen has inched up a bit. He's cleared that right side corner. I'm pretty sure he's aware of Raze. Yep, there's the blind there. He's going to make his move. Oh, yeah, smoke's pop to try and delay that, but already through. Zypen is in there, and he is looking to pad his stats as much as possible. Flash is going to come out, but Shadow going to be knocking him down. The aggression is on from Zypen. While Angel is in great position in U-Haul here, trying to make his way forward. They're going to be locked up in heaven for a little while while, these, while they wait for the smokes to dissipate. But when the smoke is cleared, will Project SW really be the ones coming out on top? In the 4v5 scenario, they find themselves in. They have a decent amount of holds. The op shot's not going to connect, but will allow Hardest to get that opening frag, setting the kills back to even. Yeah, at least they got something. Still a 4v4 situation, time working against the defenders now, and everyone is tucked into elbow right now. If the defenders can catch them from behind, it's still going to be a bit difficult, but Breach is watching, and all the defenders backed off. They just aren't even going to try it. That's uh, yeah, another project. round for Zype and Go Kill. 5-0 start is the most dominant we've seen today. Definitely, and Project backing out there with a team that we've been praising for being as aggressive as they are, that does not bode well in my mind of you're watching a very aggressive team suddenly feel like they need to be backing up. They feel like they're the ones who need to give Zype and Go more respect. If you're going to be that aggressive, you need to have the confidence to do it. And if Project, F if Project SW's confidence is currently being shaken... It's going to be hard for them to battle back, and I don't even blame them with Zypen 9 and oh, He is just padding his combat score for this game. It's not even being a KDA player, just dragging oh. out of his mind as Kagasi is going to be the one to open things up again. Thank goodness for Kagasi and his op. He has a saving grace here. Hardest also grabs a kill over on A site, so finally hitting the brakes now on Zypen go kill. Uh, there's the showstopper is a bit short, unfortunately, for the attackers, but 
Project SW happy to get that utility burned and Shao rejoining his teammate now. Hookah is already cleared out. So with that 5v3 advantage, the defense finally in a, a good spot to sit back, wait for the entry from, you know, Shower and A short here as it looks like it will be in just a moment. Yeah, and if you're Project SW, you can be pretty happy about that trade. It was an owl drone for, you got one kill, then two ultimates came out, and now you find yourselves 5v3. Boombot's not going to bait Meadow long enough. He's going to be able to trade that one back. Cole Dementa finds one of his own. Two members versus four. Cole Dementa can really just hold his ground here as the rest of Project SW. No, Bomb is not on site yet. They just need to play for their time. But that's going to be Zypen going in. <laughs> Zypen he refuses is a to die. Man. Yeah, he refuses to die. He's just going to take what he gets. And he's got his little blue dragon buddy here. There is a defender in elbow. He's going to bounce himself away to try to clear that vision. And does actually manage to back up into A short. So he's going to be able to watch the spike from A short. However, he's getting surrounded now. He will need to win this duel. And does. Yeah, does win out on the duel. Does have a nade to lob over. Wow. Should lock down Cold Dementa unless he runs away. Another trip. Find the kill through the smoke. Is Zypen going to find this one? Cold Dementa is going to dish out the res because they Disgusting. want this round. But Zypen might just get an ace off the back of it. Throws out one more paint shell. He's going to get He'll it. He'll have to stick it. He's so low. Wow. And that's going to be Zypen with an ace. Incredible. Dude, just... Oh, you res <laughs> only to give him the fifth kill that he wants. Zypen, go kill. Zypen, go kill them all. Zypen never he's dies. he's pulling out 14-0. 14-0 in six rounds. That's two and a half kills a round. <laughs> he hasn't even died. Actually disgusting. That was the hottest start SW could have hoped for. Five versus three. And Zypen, even just the little bounce to clear that elbow vision of Sage, he didn't even need to do it. But that little touch... Just is so phenomenal, and every follow-up kill he got there was well-earned. Project SW have to be just face-palming now. 6-0 for attackers? That is tough stuff there. That it is, and if, luckily, Kagapi, it feels like, is the one who's trying to hold anything down for his team here, but... Zypen feels like an unstoppable force. Must have well-earned fans if you guys are enjoying his content, because he is putting on a performance. For this game, Don's gonna be probing oh, for info there. Gets sent back with a little vandal headshot. There is. Here comes the hunter's fury. Will he be able to find him? Kagasi, two kills in the round already. We'll set it to a two v three. Kagasi, very impressive in previous oh. matches. That's a triple now for the op plus Sova ultimate and the op skills definitely shining here on defense. However, T Sack oh. taking down Shao. They finally went around. This one's flawless. So. You know, they finally put an end to their bleeding, but 6-1 is extremely tough. And, you know, it's only still in Zypengo Kill's favor as they've banked up so much cash up to this point. They're not worried at all about losing a round here and there. The op is still in hand for Shadow LOLs. Zypen does finally die. He is mortal. Turns out he can die. It's not a glitch in the Matrix or anything like that. <laughs> uh, Kagasi, though, still very important for the team, getting that opening op shot uh, just to give him a little bit more confidence on defense. Not going to be a shutout completely here. If it bleeds, you can kill it, and they're going to try once more, but Angel's going to be the one who starts things off here. Kagasi trading that one back as Cold Amenda is going to fall to Shao immediately after. Advantage to Project SW as he's going to peek into showers here. Kagasi once again finding the kill, but Zypen, of course it has to be Zypen who's putting oh, the end to oh, him oh. here. What was that you hate from to Dawn? See it. Uh, he had no idea, obviously, that Raze was right next to him, but or was that actually Sova there cleaning up? But either way, tough, oh, tough start here again. 7-1 to one now, 16-1 for Zypen. It just looks ridiculous now. Project SW have not been down six rounds since we've been watching them. They've only been up uh, incredible amounts up to this point. So Hardest and company struggling to keep a grip on defense. Look at this A short. You see A short defense right here? Are they willing to just shove out? I'm not sure what we're going to see here. Might be the plan, but they'd be walking themselves right into a tripwire. Oh my gosh, there goes Hardest there. Pops all the, the ultimate off and he just ends up firing it into the wall as the rest of the members are executing onto B. So at least they know vaguely where they are and Artis looks like he wants to commit to the flank here. 
Meanwhile, Kagasi waiting on the teleport, but T-Sack's the one who starts things all along here. And gets a nice frag there in through the smoke. Ultimate dropped down there, swings on him. Shao's gonna find the first kill there. They're pushing forward. They're trying to find value, and it looks like site control is gonna go their way. Oh, I like that shock dart bounce backwards, and Meadow taking down Cold Dementa. Easy headshot there, catches him by surprise. Spike planted. We've got four attackers against only three defenders. The defenders are in a rough spot, but Hardest finds Zypen and a second kill onto Shao. Suddenly, Cypher and Breach here left on site, but now Kagasi, even though he is clutch, he needs the angles to be able to shoot. And with T-Sac falling, uh, is going to be a tall task. I don't expect him to stick around here. I would actually expect him to keep the op just because what are you going to do here? Yeah, you might as well. You've been so successful on it. I think he did make a, a swap for the skin and oh, yeah. the dragon worth. coming well out. Worth. So worth. Skins <laughs> equal skills. Look at it. Many it's beautiful. Of you may remember. Old CS days traits holding still, but as it stands right now, Project SW are not holding true to their past performances. One in eight, still struggling to have that explosive potential, that light the fire attitude that they've had. It's unfortunately been a little lost on them in these past few rounds. Look at the uh, Zypengo kill squad, all Vandals. That's actually kind of <laughs> rare. I don't think we've really seen that yet, but this squad, all Vandals here going for those headshots. And on the opposite side, they're struggling. They got two Spectres and a Sheriff here. The garage sale, as we like to call it. Just so many different items, so many different oh, guns. Kagasi but... just gambled and lost. Went through the TP with the op out and did not spot anyone because it's actually a hard A push. I Meadow finds exactly the first kill. Right. Sage is all alone on A. I don't expect this to go well for the defense. Cold Event has got to run. He's got to re -peak right into an omen flash. Gonna get paranoia out there while Shadow's gonna pick up that kill. 3v5 and... If you're Zype and go kill, maybe you're looking to save once more as Kagasi's gonna find one. He's gonna get aggressive here. He's gonna have to pull himself out of the Owl Drone as Shadow. It's getting very aggressive into Ooh. there. He wants to hunt him down and he's gonna find him. Dragon's all Kigasi around. Kagasi can't stay safe forever. You can play the patient hunter, but you don't always get the prey as Zypen are really the apex predators of this one. They are crushing it. 9-1 is the biggest lead we've seen today in any of our BO1s on the way up to the finals. And you can see just on the scoreline there, Zypen still grabbing a kill every single round, even if it's not a triple. <laughs> Kagasi still actually a shining spot here for Project SW. He's getting those individual kills, but you can see the economy right is in the toilet right now. Sheriffs all around here while Zypen go kill. Oh, Kagasi, two sheriff kills. The opper hot with the pistol, too. Yeah, and that's a great way to hopefully try and bounce back even on an eco, but Shadow's going to be trying to put down any aggression right away. Not going to let them try and get an inch if you can't avoid it. The fire and aftershock up into heaven to try to clear out that area while Meadow's just going to find one more. t -Sack. You only got a sheriff. You might be able to sneak up and pick up an AR and try and save that True. if you'd like. A short has a couple point, of corpses. But at this point, you're talking going into round 11, going into round 12. Is it even worth it? You have so much that you need to recover on this second half. So it looks like the challenge is going to be issued, but not going to be standing up for very long. The dragon's breath showing his face there and... And we know Honestly, just burning the hearts of SW right now. We know that Project SW are capable. Like they, they just won a game 13-6 to get here on by, on split. Excuse me. So, uh, it's a little interesting seeing Dawn specifically only two kills. Uh, Tsac has been a clutch master, and Kagasi is the op slash sheriff hotshot, but. It's just not coming together, and suddenly it's 10-1. What do you do from this point? Do you just say, go next? Like, such a tough spot to be in. Yeah, there is that kind of notion where you find yourself in this situation. Is it worth to try and hold back a bit for the next map and try to battle back from there? But definitely Zype and Go Kill are not going to be looking to take their feet off of the gas. The ultimate is going to bounce Omen right onto the site. He's all the way out of the sight box now, playing around his own smoke, but Cold Immense is going to be the one who starts this off, gets a one, gets a two. 
And it's immediately treated back by Zype and go kill. Meadow and Ang Angel picking up that Ooh, one. Ooh, that was rough. Basically out of ammo <laughs> as the two yeah. popped out of garden there and quick headshot uh, followed by a kill. Hardest trades out, but Sova is solo Ooh. against Sova. We've seen Kagasi in this situation before. He is really very good. good. I'm not sure how Xiao stacks up. Xiao has been showing a hot hand here as well, uh, but there is no spike planted. 44 seconds. He's going to port over to A, forcing Sova to scramble and try and catch him through the CT side. Kagasi, I would expect to go through Heaven to try and scope things out here. Obviously Sova, so he has the recon arrow as well coming up in eight seconds or so. And Sova, right. Sova duels. They're all about information here. Exactly, and they're going to have recon arrows at the same time, but look at these close angles. Who will oh. find each other first? Kagasi! Oh, if only he had known how right he was to be flicking there, but Xiao is the one who's going to close out the round. Kagasi, unfortunately, doubted his hunter's instinct, and Xiao's going to come on top of that one. And honestly, I love that post plant. That was a very bold post plant to push up that far and play that aggressively, but you can't be seen from heaven. You're expecting him to come from CT, playing right up in his face. It hurts a bit the pride if you are Project SW to kind of just get called out like that one, but at 11 to one, Zyp and Kill Kill are just running away in this game. 11 to one, 10 round deficit. Project SW switching sides now. And we've got a, a hiding spot here. <laughs> no, this is just the camera. As uh, the Cypher is spot. locking B himself. And I actually kind of enjoy this uh, this coming out from Meadow is you've already kind of proven that you can you guys can take effectively and do it fairly convincingly. So I feel like definitely Zypinko Kill can afford to give a bit of ground on the site. And it looks like that's their plan as flying in here. Project SW are on the march. Three kills, rapid succession. Two from Angel, two from Meadow Ooh, makes four. One player remaining, even though T-Sac is quite good at this game. Zypengo kill seem to be on another level. I don't expect much here. Maybe an exit frag, but actually just shut down here as the rest of his team has already fallen. He's going to be revealed. He's going to pull out the tripwire and try and slow the advance. Does win the duel. We know T-Sac is good, but that is a triple for Angel. 12-1 match point for game one already. Yeah, this is uh, Zype and Go Kill putting on a clinic, as they say. But as it stands, Zype and Go Kill have really just kind of been... When Project SW present, present a flame and they want to try and burn down the competition, Zype and Go Kill really just stared them down and dared them to challenge. As now they're going to spend everything they have... They know it's last round for Project SW. Nobody's leaving anything in the bank. This is all going to come down to this. It looks like one final A push as here comes the Owl Drone. Going to get knocked down immediately before it can even leave the smoke. But that's a huge shock dart. Zypen finding the first kill there onto t -Sec. He's waiting around here. Two players playing in there. As Cole Dementa is going to get swung on. Kagasi is only going to be able to trade one back before he falls. And that's Dawn it. Donna's very low HP. And that's going to be the round end. GG's to Zype and Go Kill. They're going to find their first game of this series 13 to 1 in a convincing fashion. That's a, that's a pretty dominant performance. I think that was a statement game, absolutely. Uh, Project SW had a tough fight, uh, a 13 11 victory to make it here. So the fact that they just dropped this one one round only successful. Uh, Kagasi, again, top fragger there. Always look for him on the op and the sheriff, but Zypan. Specifically, that one round on offense where he was 1v3 with the Rays, used everything he had to clutch it. Actually insane. That clip is pretty nasty. So <laughs> congrats on the 1-0 lead now for uh, Zypan Go Kill. This is a best of three series as our observer kind of clicks through the rounds. You can see there is the big round <laughs> with the four Vandal oh kills after God. planting.